Welcome to this video. Watch this video until the end. Please read the text and listen. I repeat, read and listen. Try to understand each line. Remember, listening works as input. If you listen a lot, it will help you to speak properly. Wish you a very good luck. One day, I went to a friend's house. I chatted with him for a long time, but I noticed he was so worried. I asked him the reason, but he didn't want to say anything. After asking several times, he said, I'm very worried about one thing. I will share with you because I need your help, but you have to promise that you won't tell anyone. He was a very good friend of mine. I promised not to tell anyone. Then I requested him to share it with me. Then he started telling me. We were playing cricket on the field yesterday. Suddenly, the ball went inside the old house. You know, there is a very old house beside the pond. I nodded yes. Then my friend started talking again. We didn't find the ball even after searching for a while. Then we didn't play anymore and everyone returned home. After that, I went to find the ball again alone. Because the ball was mine, I went inside the house to look for the ball. Suddenly, I saw an empty sock. Subconsciously, I moved the sock. Then I found the big hole. And I saw a box in the hole. I was scared. And I ran away. I asked him, why didn't you open the box? He replied, he didn't understand what to do. I'm sure it was a hidden treasure, he said. I heard from my grandfather that there was a hidden treasure in this village, but nobody knows where it is. I think I have found it now. I was very surprised to hear the incident from my friend. I certainly believed my friend. Two of us then decided that we needed to bring the box as soon as possible. But after a while, I thought we should have informed the police. But we were not sure about it. So we thought we would open the box ourselves. I told my friend, first of all, we need to be sure about it. And then if we feel we should inform the police, we will let them know. That night, we started doing what we thought. We didn't want to be late, so we went out that night. We went out for the hidden treasure. Two of us took two torchlights with us. That side was always empty after evening. We also took two sticks with us because there were snakes in the bush next to the pond. I was very scared of snakes. But my friend was very brave. After about 15 minutes of walking, we reached there. As soon as we came in front of the broken house, our bodies were creepy. We started going inside by removing the bushes with sticks. Suddenly, some bats flew away. Finally, we went inside and saw the big hole. I was surprised. I noticed carefully. The hole didn't look like it was a long time ago. I told my friend that it wasn't a long time old hole and it looked like it was dark a few days ago. My friend saw it well and said, yes, 
That's right. As we got closer to the hole, we saw the box. I told my friend to hold the box with the towel. Suddenly, I saw a big snake. I shouted and said, "Come back!" I made a sound with my stick, and the snake was gone. My body was shaking. I was very scared of snakes. We picked up the box without delay. We were very excited. We noticed the box didn't look like very old. We were shocked when we opened the box. It was not a hidden treasure as we thought. There were weapons in the box. We put the box back in the place with the towel again. We ran out of the old house. One of my uncles was a policeman. I told him about the box, but we didn't say that we opened it. Then the police did what they had to do. It took about one month to catch the terrorist. Although we did not expect a reward, we were rewarded for finding the box.